Hello everyone, it's Miss Piper from the Ellensburg Public Library here with family stories and conversation. I miss you, I'm so glad to be back. Today's story is My Big Family. It is written by Yanitsia Kinetti and illustrated by Micah Archer. We've had a book before written and illustrated both by um, Micah Archer. Daniel's a good day. Way, way back in the beginning. This was donated. This book was donated to us by someone anonymous. Do you know what anonymous means? That did not give their name, whom we do not know. On um, September 2020, and they left a quote too. The quote is, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Dr. Seuss said that. My big family. Story time. In my house, there are three of us, mama, papa, and me. I have a very big family though. You have grandparents in Cuba, says Papa, and lots of aunts and uncles and cousins, Mama reminds me. day, I notice Mama wearing her favorite shirt and Papa singing while he makes empanadas. Mama is looking at the photo album and showing me pictures I've seen again and again. Papa tells the story of my grandmother Juanita growing up in the little town in Cuba. Abuela's house had soaring high ceilings, he says and big wide windows, Mama says. Since I hear this story all the time, I think they really want to tell me something else. Alex, how would you like it if our family were bigger? Mama asks. Yes, I shout. It would be nice to have more family here. Well, guess what, says Mama. Your grandmother is coming from Cuba tomorrow. I jump up and we all hug. I can't believe our family is getting bigger. Where three can fit, four can fit, says Papa. We pick up Abuela Juanita from the airport and when we get home, I help Abuela put her things in my room. Now it is our room. Luckily, everything fits. My dresser, her bedside table, my toys, her books, my drawing table, her jewelry box, my bed, her bed. And I'm glad she likes my room. It looks like a planetarium. The next morning, the phone rings. I hear Mama shouting. She sounds happy. As soon as she hangs up, she runs over to me. Alex, your Aunt Celia is coming from Cuba tomorrow. And she's bringing your cousins, 
Yoli, Yanier, and Yudier. Yes, I say, the bigger the better. Now, there's never a quiet moment. My cousins teach me new games. We watch movies and they make me laugh a lot. In the kitchen, Abuela, Mama, and Aunt Celia cook Cuban food together. Aunt Celia talks so loud that Papa has to turn up the TV to hear it. But the smell of garlic, onion, and fried plantains bring us all to the table hungry. After dinner, we take turns sitting in the living room. But when I stand up to stretch my legs, Yudier plops down in the most comfortable chairs. You snooze, you lose, he says. Just then, the phone rings. Oh no! I hear Mama yelling happily again. As soon as she hangs up, she runs over to me. Guess what, Alex? Cousin Beto is coming to live with us too. Papa just smiles. Where eight can fit, nine can fit, he says. No one else can fit in this house. In the morning, when it is time for breakfast, everyone wants something different. I want scrambled eggs. I want a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. I want empanadas. Oh, brother, I just want cereal with milk. My cousins thump in and out of the house, running and shouting. Yanier and Yudier like to play baseball in the yard. So far, they've broken two flower pots and our neighbor's window. And Celia never stops talking and cooking. Abuela chats on the phone and Cousin Beto asks everyone a million questions. Then 
everything changes. Tia Celia and your cousins are moving to their own apartment with Abuela. Mama tells me one morning, Cousin Beto is moving out too. find out someone else is coming to live in our house. Now our family has gotten just a little bigger. Where three can fit, four can fit. The end, the end of My Big Family by Anitzia Canetti and Micah Archer. Question time. We read our story and now for our conversation. My big family, my big family. Question number one, who is in your family? Who is in your house? Do you have two different answers for those things? Sometimes have, we have what we call immediate family. And those are usually the people that we live with. And sometimes, and then we have extended family, which is beyond that immediate family. And they don't usually always live with us. Who is your family? And sometimes family consists of people that we're not even related to that live with us as well. Who is in your family and who is in your house? Question number two, have you ever had a house guest? Where did you sleep? Where did they sleep? Did you do things together? Like cooking and playing games and laughing and maybe even breaking flower pots? How did it feel to have someone else in your house with you? Question number three, my friends, and lastly, do you have siblings? If you're an older sibling, do you remember when your parents told you about a new sibling, a baby coming? Do you remember that? If you are a younger sibling, ask your family about the time they found out that you were coming. And if you don't remember, you can ask as well. What was that moment like for them? All right, my friends. So glad to be with you. And I hope to see you again next week for another story and conversation. Bye friends.